five. And if this peach tree is grown in an acidic soil, if I don't add lime, it's gonna have the following problems. If the soil is too acidic, it's gonna have a harder time accessing the macronutrients, potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen, and at the same time, it's gonna have an overabundance of the micronutrients, such as copper and manganese and zinc, to the point that it could cause toxicity in my beloved peach tree. But also, when the soil is acidic, aluminum is more active. And when my peach tree roots come into contact with that aluminum, it's gonna cause necrosis. It's gonna burn those roots, thus it's gonna greatly affect this beautiful peach tree's vigor, okay? So I don't want that. That's why last fall, before I even planted my fruit trees, I added lime to the soil because it takes six months to a year to take place. And all this is, is ground limestone. It's natural rock. It's mainly made out of calcium and magnesium, and it's going to counterbalance the following natural and man-made processes that cause soil acidification. For instance, when the rain falls from the sky, it's gonna mix with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and when it reaches the soil, it's gonna form carbonic acid, and the hydrogen is gonna release. And remember, hydrogen from your chemistry class causes acidity. Not only that, but this peach tree, and all these grasses, and all these plants, and all the microorganisms that are in the soil, right? Just like us, some of them inhale oxygen, and they exhale carbon dioxide, and the plant roots, they're gonna release carbon dioxide, okay? And remember, there's more organisms underneath the soil than we see above it, than we see in the sky, okay? So there's so much alive underneath the soil that's releasing carbon dioxide. And remember when the rain, when the water mixes with that carbon dioxide, it forms carbonic acid and that acidifies the soil. Now the addition of organic matter, right? When I added compost and when I added mulch and when I cut the grass last week, right? And when this organic matter reaches the soil, it's gonna acidify it because it forms water-soluble bonds with the calcium and the magnesium in the soil. And remember, calcium and magnesium neutralize the pH. They make it more basic, okay? So then this calcium and magnesium now washes away when it rains, okay? Not only that, but when we add synthetic fertilizer, right? Or when we add compost, natural fertilizers, manures, right? When the microorganisms in the soil convert the nitrogen from ammonium, NH4 positive, to nitrate, NO3 negative. The oxidation of nitrogen releases two units of hydrogen for every unit of ammonium broken down to nitrate. So this is gonna acidify the soil, and we also have to take into effect the sulfur. Sulfur is a compound that's in a lot of these leaves. It's in a lot of the plant. And when sulfur is oxidized in the soil, once again, it's going to release sulfuric acid. It's gonna acidify the soil. And what I found out that's very interesting that I did not know before I did my research is that when this plant takes up nutrients, they're in the cation form, which is a positive state, such as potassium, right? or it's in a negative state, the anion state, such as nitrate, NO3 negative. And when a plant takes up far more of the negative anions, such as nitrate, the, it wants to maintain an equilibrium in the balance of the soil. So it's going to release hydrogen because hydrogen has a plus charge. And like I said, this is gonna maintain charge equilibrium. And this is what the plant wants. So the plant itself is actually naturally acidifying the soil through this process. That's why we add limestone, okay? Remember, we want the soil to have a neutral pH. So how does limestone work in the soil? Well, when the calcium and magnesium hit the soil, they're gonna to say to the hydrogen, I win. It's gonna to go to the aluminum, adios. So it's gonna replace the hydrogen and the aluminum. It's gonna take over, and now it's in charge. Not only that, but the limestone, when it reaches the soil, is gonna release all this carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, right? And if there's less carbon dioxide in the soil, remember, carbon dioxide, when it mixes with water, forms carbonic acid, which acidifies the soil. And this limestone here, when we add it, it's gonna form bicarbonate bicarbonate, which is going to counter effect. It's gonna battle against the carbonic acid. And so all these processes, okay, are going to win against soil acidity. 
and it's gonna make the pH more neutral. But this process is not a one-time thing, okay? We have to continue adding lime. And the best way to know how much lime to add is to do a soil test, to do a pH test for your soil, okay, friends? I had a great time explaining the science behind lime, behind soil acidity. I love teaching people about nature and about growing food because it's the key to having a satisfied stomach and a satisfied spirit.